Hi everybody, it's me Sissy. Today I have a DIY for you. Um, on one of my Christmas videos or videos before Christmas, I showed you how I was packaging some of my things and I had packaged one of these pillar candles from um, Dollar Tree with uh, one of the microfiber dish towels and I had a request to show exactly how I did it. So I'm going to show you that and then some different ideas using that kind of same technique. So let's get started. What you'll need um, is one of these pillar candles, a dish towel of your choice. I'm going to use the Valentine's Day, though this is not necessarily a Valentine's Day. You can change this up for birthday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, wh whatever holiday you have in mind. And um, then we're going to use some of this decorative ribbon. Um, I, all this came from the Dollar Tree. You don't even need a glue gun for this. Um, all we're going to need is some scissors, and then I've got these, they do sell straight pins at the Dollar Tree, but um, I, some of y'all know that I have arthritis in my thumbs, and sometimes it's hard for me to, to push the little pins and stuff, so I like to get ones that are really sharp, and these are the T-pins from, from Walmart. Um, they're not, they're like $2 for 100 so um, that's what I'm going to use in this project, but you can use the straight pins from the uh, Dollar Tree, and you really, you could use scotch tape too, but I think the pins make it look better. But what we're going to do is, um, we're going to take this towel, and the one I did at Christmas, it had a central design on it that I wanted to use and show on the front of the candle. So you would fold your towel so that that would be centered on the um, candle. I'm not going to do it with this one because this one obviously doesn't have a, a center design, but I have a different one to show you, and I'll show you how I folded it to do that. So, first thing I do is cut all these little plastic tabs off of these things. Cut that one off. And you just want to open up your towel, and don't knock all your pins over. I'm just going to open it up, and then we're just going to measure our candle. So, and let's see, we want to fold some in on the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that. And then fold some in at the top. And you just want to make it like a casing around the candle. And it is as simple as that. I just got it all nice and straight. And then on the end that's going to be on the outside, I just kind of take it and fold it in so we don't see that um, seam on the edge. Okay, so just lay your candle down and roll her up. And just kind of keep it straight. And then when you get to the end, I'm, oh, excuse me for sniffing, I got a little head cold going on. But I'm going to get to the end. And we have that nice little fold right there where it's meeting. Then we're just going to take one of these T-pins. Okay. Now, I said that. Now I can get the thing picked up. Anyway. Watch me fumble. Okay. So, I like to pin it first in the middle. And you just take your pin and go kind of... Um, Point the pin up till it comes through. Catch a little spot in the cloth and the um, towel, and just push it down, and that secures it. And then the, you won't get stuck on the pin. But just be ever, just tell the recipient that there are pins in it, so that they don't accidentally get impaled on one of these pins. Because these things are really sharp, y'all. I say that now I can't get it through. Oh, I got it stuck in the label. Okay. There we go. And I just put three in, one in the middle, one at the top, and one at the bottom. There you go. And then Once I got it all pinned and everything, then we're going to put our ribbon around. I'm going to use this um, My Heart and Forever You and Me um, Valentine's ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree going to use that on here. So we're just going to cut a little piece. You don't need a very, very much. You can um, use a scrap. That would be a good way to use up your little scraps. But we're just going to roll it around the candle just like we did the towel. And 
And just like I folded in my edge on the towel so we don't see the seam, we're going to do the same thing so we don't see the cut edge on the ribbon. So we just roll it around. And, and you can secure this with a piece of scotch tape, or you can do it with a pen, or drop a hot glue. It just depends on um, what you want. I'm just going to do the pen. I want this to be removable, and I don't have the scotch tape handy anyway. But anyway, so we just it the same way just like that and then I'm going to take this little um, contrasting ribbon the uh, it's red with a little white dash on I think this came from the Dollar Tree it it may not have it was just in my stash so and we're just going to put it in the center and I'm doing this backwards so y'all can see um, and just going to tie a bow. Watch, I'm tying it backwards and I can't do it. Alright. My hands are on backwards, y'all. Tie the bow. Just like that. And then adjust your tails and you want to Trim them okay, so I got my bow adjusted and got kind of evened up my loops a little bit, which you can do, you know, just pull your tails back in. And then we're just going to give it a little trim. Now, um, Dollar Tree has some really pretty uh, artificial flowers in right now. You can um, stick one of those right there under your bow, or you and they have some beautiful little glass. Uh, roses, you can stick one of the, those in there. I don't have any of those, but I do have a flower. Let me just reach out over here and get it. So, and this would be a, just a great little touch. And if you're just going to give it that day, it's just um, one little daisy. I'm just going to stick it under my bow. And then you can stick a tag on here or whatever. Um, you know, a little cinnamon or whatever. And, and then that is a perfect way to give a towel and a candle. It's a, a cute little inexpensive gift. If you don't want to give candy, a lot of people don't eat candy. I don't eat candy. So, um, I just think it's cute and it, it's a great way to wrap a candle. So, um, that is one way to do it. And uh, let me clear this out of the way and I'm going to come back and show you a different way. You can do this same concept um, on a bigger vase using some more stuff. Okay, so... This is a different twist, kind of using that same thing, but I've got the tall, straight-sided cylinder race from the Dollar Tree. And this cute little um, coffee-themed dish towel, and I've got these little microfiber um, dish cloth scrubbers, whatever. You wash dishes with it. I don't know if it really call it. Anyway, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to fold your towel to fit your vase. And since this has a design that goes uh, in a certain direction, we, we want to fold the towel to match the direction of our vase. So instead of rolling it this way, we're going to do it this way. So we um, kind of want that coffee cup to be front and center. So we're going to fold the towel to highlight the coffee cup. So. I'm just folding in the end because I want the, this coffee cup to be on the bottom of the base. So I'm just going to fold that in. Turn it over so I can see what I'm doing. And then we're going to put my base down and just fold this back. And it's, like, it's going to be a little too much. So we're going to. We just want to fold it where it goes to the top of our base. But I'm still too tall. Wait a minute. So that's all I did. I just folded it so that the coffee cup would be at the bottom. So, 
Then we're going to do the same thing we did on the other one. We're just going to roll it around the vase. So, and um, on this one too, I kind of want to fold in that edge so you don't see all the little scraggly ends where you got it folded. So it will be like that. Pull it as tight as you can. It, I mean, it don't have to be super tight, but you don't want it to just fall off. So pull it like that, and then my pins. Which I'm so efficient, I put the lid back on. Now I can't get it off. Anyway, there we go. All right, y'all. I'm sorry for sniffing, y'all. Anyway, there we go. Get it, and you just want to get that one in the middle first. Do the same thing. Point it towards you, and when it comes through the fabric, kind of angle it back and push it in the opposite direction. And do be sure and tell the recipient that there are pins in it. Um, you don't want anybody getting stuck. And I just do the same thing with the top and the bottom in the middle. There we go, and we have the pretty little coffee cup on the bottom. And now to um, put a bow on here, I'm going to use this uh, pretty little burlap lace ribbon and this coordinating Okay, we're going to do the ribbon. ribbon the same way we did on the other one. Just measure your little piece out. difference is this one I'm not going to do it in the middle I'm going to do it at the top so that I can um, keep that pretty little picture of the coffee cup front and center okay and then I have the this orange ribbon um I wish this was a little darker orange so it would coordinate better but it does it kind of matches the orange that's in that um now, I'm, I'm just going to turn this around so I can see it and tie a decent bow this time. And I kind of want to put it in the center of, um, of that lace that's on there. And you could do this with any of the, any towels. Um, you could do a baby, the um, little baby washcloths and towels they have in there. That would be cute too. And you could do a gift for a baby shower. Um... This she could do, uh, since I chose coffee, um, you could do a coffee themed gift. You could fill this up with the, uh, the little, with a, with a jar of the instant coffee or with some K-cups or um, you could put the little flavored creamers in here. Anything coffee related, even coffee flavored candy. You could put in here, and um, that would be a great gift for a coworker, or a friend, or a mom, or a teacher. Um, you know, just depending on what the occasion was. So, um, see, there you go. And that's what I would do. I would fill it up with my candy or whatever, and then I would take these and use them like you know you would do tissue paper, and have them kind of sticking up out of the top cute like that. Now, if, if this didn't have the pretty design on the front, what I would have done, like, um, I had some that just had fall leaves on them. I just took the, um, little microscribers and laid them catty-cornered like that and put the ribbon around them. And then I filled up the container with utensils um, for a shower gift. I'm so sorry about sniffing y'all. I just cannot get these pins. Like that. And then just tie your ribbon back on it. That's not the best in the world. And then they have great utensils at the Dollar Tree. Now, these, these are used, so don't look at them. These are mine. I'm just doing it for example. And you can just put them in there and... Um, that I already made shower gift and tie your bow on there.
So, um, that's just some ideas of packaging. It's not really a DIY, I guess. Um, but I, I think it's really cute. Let me, let me take this off and put it back the way I had it with the um, coffee. And then, like I said, you can adapt this for any holiday or any occasion. Um, just depending on, and Dollar Tree always has the cutest towels. And, you know, I have heard tell of people buying stuff at other stores other than the Dollar Tree, though. I don't know why you would, so. Um, but dish towels and dish cloths and everything are, are really inexpensive, so. It, it's just a good, inexpensive gift. And it's things that people could really use. Um, so, I think it's really good. Let me put the ribbon back on, and then I will show you both of them. Okay, and I have some um, Valentine's Day DIYs coming up um, here shortly. I have a wreath and um, one or two other little things that I hope I'm going to try to get on the air next week. Um, that is my goal. So, and I will be adding um, something to the giveaway, a giveaway box. Um, I've been kind of falling down on the job, y'all. I haven't really been doing it. Um, videos like I should have, like I want to, um, but I'm going to get back on schedule and we're going to get that 1,000 subscribers and I'm going to give away that big box. But anyway, here's the two ideas. Um, this is using the glass vase and this is using the pillar candle. So um, I hope y'all liked it. I hope y'all try it. Send me some pictures or if you have ideas, let me know. Um, everybody have a great day. Bye.